A critical factor in centrifugal fan performance is the relationship between the fan inlet and the wheel. Let's take a look. When fans are tested in the laboratory, the relationship between the wheel inlet, we'll call it the fit, is optimized for the best performance. This relationship is recorded and provided to you in the appropriate installation and operations manual. Before hooking up ductwork to the inlet of a centrifugal fan, it's always a good idea to check the wheel to inlet fit as it is difficult to check later and even more difficult to diagnose from fan performance data. Let's see why. We start out with the wheel in the ideal position, overlapping the inlet as detailed in the installation and operation manual. During this demonstration, the wheel speed will remain constant. The display screen shows the wheel in blue and the overlapping inlet in red. You can see the airflow is approximately 1080 CFM and the power consumption is 174 watts. First, we'll raise the wheel to increase the overlap and see what happens. Increasing the overlap makes the gap between the wheel and inlet larger. You can see that the airflow is dropping as the wheel gets higher. As we get to the highest position, let's see what has happened. We've lost nearly 40% of our airflow, but the fan is consuming nearly the same amount of energy. This is because the wheel is doing the same amount of work, but some of the air is leaking back into the inlet of the wheel, a low pressure area, from the discharge, a high pressure area. Now, lowering the wheel, we see the airflow increase until we return to the correct position. Lowering the wheel further, we get to the point where there is no overlap between the wheel and inlet. At this point, some fans may exhibit a whistling sound, as heard here, indicating the wheel is not overlapping the inlet enough. Continuing down, the whistle goes away and the gap between the wheel and inlet is clearly visible, allowing air to recirculate from the discharge of the wheel to the inlet with a significant reduction in the fan output. Still, the power consumption is relatively constant. Now, let's take a look at how improper wheel rotation affects fan performance. This is the number one cause of low system airflow, improper wheel rotation. The wheel shown here is a backward inclined wheel, sometimes referred to as a BI wheel. This is the proper rotation, and this is the wrong rotation. We will now rotate the wheel in the incorrect rotation and see what happens. The fan is now running at the same speed as before, but moving 77% less air and consuming 18% more horsepower. The fix for this is simple. Reverse the rotation. For fans with three-phase motors, simply switch any two legs on the incoming power. For single-phase motors, it will require a change to the internal motor wiring. Okay, let's recap. Proper wheel to inlet fit is important for correct fan performance. Check it first before hooking ductwork to the fan inlet. Improper wheel rotation is the most common cause of poor fan performance. Check the rotation when airflow is low and horsepower is high. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and watch for more videos. If you have suggestions about any subjects you would like to see covered, send them to marketing at laurencook.com.